Members of Parliament have raised a red flag over the more than 400 million shillings renovation budget by former Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa for refurbishment of his Harambe Annex office, his Karen residence and Mombasa residence in the previous financial year. Documents presented before the National Assembly's Security and National Administration Committee details that some of the monies were used to repair broken kitchens, build new washrooms and plant flowers at the premises in what the committee termed wasteful spending. As Emmanuel Tonau reports, the officers who were, uh, who were attached to the besieged former DP are currently being cleared from the system after their sacking was confirmed. Expenditure queries linger over former Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa. Members of the National Assembly Security and National Administration Committee questioning the renovation expenditure in his office for the financial year 2023 to 2024. <laughs> Members concerned that the renovation expenditure was equal or more than the total cost of constructing the buildings in the 1.2 billion shillings budget he requested for the works a year ago. Documents show the former DP spent 400 million to refurbish his Harambe Annex office, his official residence in Karen, and the DP's residence in Mombasa in the last financial year. Electrical and mechanical works. Reinforced concrete works and machinery, walling of swimming pool, and change stroke washrooms of the guest wing. Current staff at the DP's office disclosing that 100 million shillings was spent to refurbish the Harambe House Annex, including the renovation of the sixth floor, supply of installation for three lifts, and revamping a VIP dining room on the second floor. The total works will cost 450 million shillings by the time they are complete in 2027. The construction is at 22% of the total works. But we're being told. Well, that boat was constructed, it was roughly about 600 million, not far from the price you had quoted in doing minor renovations and refurbishment. Uh, we also need to replace our corridors. You realize the tiles need to be changed, they are, they've already started cracking. Uh, we also have renovation of the uh, kitchenette, seven of them, uh, remodeling of the basement areas. Gashagwa also spent 250 million shillings to give a facelift to his current residence. These included the construction of a 50-seater cabinet meeting room, a 100-seater dining room, supply of furniture and fittings and construction of a garage and two washrooms. The total cost on completion will be 560 million shillings, about 100 million shillings more than the amount used to build the residence. The works are nearly halfway done. Similarly, the Mombasa residents got a state-of-the-art swimming pool, air conditioning system, new ceiling boards, new washrooms and a guest wing. All these at a whopping 50 million shillings. The total cost of the project will hit 240 million shillings by the end of the refurbishment. 108 employees who served under Gashago on contract basis were sacked. Some of the employees have since moved to court for redress. Their contracts were also deemed to have come to an end by that 31st of last month. As we speak right now, the processes of clearing them is going on to have them cleared and also to pay them their final dues as required by the law. Emmanuel Toro, Citizen TV, Nairobi.